we can never repay all that the 9-11 community has done for our country, but we can stop penalizing them. These families deserve better, and I'm really, I'm hopeful that today begins the process of being able to heal without the burden of having to advocate. There's going to be a lot more in this next hour. John Stewart there reacting after the Senate approved that 9-11 Victim Compensation Fund. Did it overwhelmingly so after the House did prior. Moments from now, that bill hits the desk of the president. He will sign it, approving billions of dollars in health care for ailing first responders. He'll be surrounded by a number of them today. One of them is the New York City firefighter, Kenny Speck. And Kenny, good morning to you. And thank you for good morning, Bill. stopping by our program before you head no to the doubt. White House. What does today mean for you, Kenny? Well, it's a culmination of a lot of, uh, a lot of years of a very difficult battle. Um, as we wrap this up, I want to uh, go on the record and thank my team, uh, the Feel Good Foundation, the team leaders. Uh, we took on this battle uh, 15 years ago, and uh, after today, a lot of us won't see each other anymore. Some of us will keep in touch, and others of us, we're going to move on with our lives. Um, we had a solid team, uh, and I appreciate you having me on today so that I could just publicly thank them for all the work that they did to get this done. Um, I was made whole years ago. Um, I received my compensation, uh, but it was important for me uh, to stay in this battle, to make sure that the members of the New York City Fire Department and other first responders who were penalized um, for uh, being diagnosed later in life, uh, that they received uh, uh, they received their payments as well, and they were made whole. Um, you have this thread that will keep you together, though, whether or not you're together physically, connected with each other. You'll always be connected because of the events of 18 years ago. H how's your health, Kenny? I'm all right. And, uh, you know, Billy, I, uh, I, I really don't want to make this about me today. Um, I think that we saw the testimony of Lou Alvarez and how that really moved the ball forward. Uh, Lou's not with us anymore. I'm going to go to the White House today for Ray Pfeiffer. I'm going to go to the White House today for uh, Louis Alvarez, uh, for Captain Vinny Ungaro, for so many, uh, so many other people that are um, too numerous to name, uh, that were on our team really early on, Bill, and uh, they're no longer with us anymore. They decided to work with us uh, to help us get this done, and uh, I'm just going to show up on their behalf today. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you going to tell the president if you get the opportunity, Kenny? What will, you, what will be your message to him? That uh, I appreciate his support for first responders uh, throughout the nation. Um, I hope that we could use today as a stepping stone, perhaps, um, to seeing to it that uh, our nation's warriors, uh, the soldiers uh, who were put in harm's way, uh, maybe we can do something now, now that we've seen that we can assist September 11th first responders, we can move this forward now. Uh, you know, we have a big homeless problem in this country with veterans. We have the burn pit. Um, where forward operating areas, these veterans are, uh, are coming back with cancers sustained by their proximity to the burn pit. Um, and I would just like to let him know that uh, we appreciate his support and we look forward to possibly making this something that leads us into a direction where we could really move the ball forward as it relates to yeah, no, our no, ill and injured indeed veterans. Indeed about that. We'll be looking for you next hour. Just one more comment here. Uh, did, could you imagine 18 years ago that we would still be fighting this war today, Kenny? Probably not. I mean, honestly, no. Um, I guess on September 11th, I, 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 I didn't look past 18 minutes, to be honest with you. I didn't know what the eight, next 18 minutes held in store for me. Uh, 18 years later, um, I'm proud of what we've done. Uh, I'll always look back on it, um, and, um, and maybe even kindly, to be honest with you. It was a tough battle. I've made great friends, and, uh, and I've met some great people. So in the end... Um, I'm real happy with the way things went. Listen, today is for you and all the others. We'll be looking for you next hour, okay? Thanks for, thanks thanks for sharing Bill. your story, Appreciate Kenny. Kenny Speck. Thanks for having me on.